Hey guys, RitzKid76 here. Today I'm going to be showing you this keyboard I made. What it does is it takes any of the buttons that you press and converts to either two signal strength signals or eight bit signal. Um, so the way this works is it's got a redstone pad underneath and you can expand this pad as long as each button that you press can reach the comparators on either end. So it has to be at the least one signal strength and yeah so what this does is it takes the two signal strengths and sends them into this one comparator here at different timings so each signal strength is on for three seconds or not three three ticks sorry um and one of them takes one tick of delay to get to this comparator and the other takes four and if you find the difference between that, that's three ticks. So they should be right behind each other. So this one gets sent first, and then this one gets sent three ticks later. And then it gets sent to the white system. <coughs> and what this does is it takes the first um, signal strength data, passes it to this comparator. And this comparator here will, um, this repeater here will... Uh, basically turn off this comparator three ticks later so it only takes the first signal sent to this comparator the other one takes three ticks before it unlocks this comparator and it takes the last signal strength sent in so you end up getting the first and then the second over here like that so this is eight and that's seven so say i press uh this reset button or whatever you could make of this and i think this is mm, I could make this backspace. It doesn't matter what it is, but yeah. So as you can see, that's four, and that's fifteen, and this is the first one sent in. This is the last, meaning that this compared to here received fifteen, and this one received four. <coughs> so you can use those, or if you have a decoder that you want to use, you can use the eight-bit signal that's created by the gray circuit. Um, and it basically just converts the signal strength to binary. Um, so the way this works is it checks if the signal strength coming in can be subtracted by 8, 4, 2, or 1. And uh, if it can, it subtracts it. So you can see it's 15 is greater than 8. Oh, it's greater than or equal to 8. So you can see now it's 7 because it's subtracted. 7 is greater than or equal to 4, so it should be 3. And then 3 is greater than or equal to 2, so it should be 1, and then you just pass that into the lamp. And since this one was 4, you can see it's 4 in binary if that was 8, 4, 2, and 1. And you can see the 8 never subtracted because it's not greater than, which that's checked right here. This is um, signal strength of 8. And going into this comparator, and since 4 is not um, the signal strength acquired, it doesn't subtract. So yeah, if you guys would like a tutorial on this, uh, wow, lag spikes, um, please let me know and I will gladly do a tutorial. It's pretty easy though, I don't think you would need one for the uh, keyboard itself. If anything, I would think you would need one for the, um, the decoder and the um, converter. But yeah, um, please subscribe for more videos like this. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Bye.